I'm Sam Luca, the 2020 Interpretive Naturalist Intern at the Adirondack Interpretive Center. Welcome back to our fourth installation of the Newcomb Naturalist Note Series. Today we are going to talk about the Anisoptera, an insect with a 300 million year history. This scientific name is derived from the Greek words anisos and tere, meaning unequal and wing respectively, as the hind wing of this insect is broader than the forewing. Any guesses? Well, based on the title of this video, you could probably assume that today we will be dissecting the life cycle and unique characteristics of the dragonfly. Odonata is the insect order composed of dragonflies and damselflies. They are easy to identify based on their long, thin bodies and showy transparent wings. Their variety of colors and wing patterns can be striking against the green summer foliage and they have colorful names such as the coppery emerald, the cherry-faced meadowhawk, and the blue corporal. Worldwide, there are more than 5,000 species of odonates. Both damselflies and dragonflies have large compound eyes that allow them to have an almost 360 degree view. Some species have 28,000 single eyes, called omatadia, that make up the compound eye. Their four wings enable them to fly in any direction as well as hover in the air like a hummingbird, and they can fly at speeds up to 35 miles per hour. In the northeast, there are approximately 200 species of dragon and damselflies. You may be wondering how to tell the two families apart. When resting, the damselfly's wings will be swept back over its body, while most dragonflies have their wings resting perpendicular to their body. A dragonfly's life begins in the water. Around midsummer, females dip their abdomens into bodies of fresh, still water, laying eggs on or near vegetation. Depending on the species, a female can lay hundreds to thousands of eggs in a summer season. The eggs hatch after seven to eight days into what is referred to as a nymph, which will live in the water for up to four years as a fierce predator. Odonate nymphs have an extruding, specialized mouth part that can grab, stab, or capture their prey and bring it back to their mouth. Nymph hunt aquatic insects, mosquito larvae, small fish, and may even cannibalize other dragonfly nymphs. Nymphs can propel themselves underwater by pulling water into their rectum, where their breathing gills are located, and then forcefully expelling it out. Nymphs must molt, or shed their skin, up to 15 times before reaching the adult dragonfly stage. In preparation for their final molt, the nymph emerges from its aquatic environment and hangs from a vertical surface like a plant stem, rock face, or the side of a building to soak in the sunlight. During this molt, the nymph's skin splits from its head down to the abdomen, and the nymph emerges as an adult dragonfly. The empty larval shell, known as exuve, remains until wind, rain, or a curious naturalist removes it. Adult dragonflies in our region only live for about a month or two, hunting flying insects like mosquitoes, flies, gnats, and even other odonates. They're considered one of the most efficient predators in existence, catching about 90% of the insects they pursue, and have arms and mouths adapted for the chase. Their front arms are slanted upward, forming a basket-like shape to enable them to scoop up prey in flight. And while they don't have teeth, dragonflies have large, strong mandibles with sharply pointed tooth-like serrations that enable them to catch insects with their mouth and sometimes eat them while flying. Dragonflies mate through what has been coined a mating wheel. The male inseminates himself and then grips the head of the female as she bends her abdominal tip to receive the sperm. Mating takes a few seconds and the female can lay her eggs almost immediately after. Male dragonflies are violent breeders, pulling away couples as well as snatching up unsuspecting females. Many species also practice guarding, watching over the female after mating to protect her until her eggs are laid. Next time you're near a wetland or water body during the summer season, be on the lookout for this amazing insect that transforms from an aquatic invertebrate into a flying carnivore. You might be surprised by the diversity of species you find in your own neighborhood. Thank you for watching this installment of the Newcomb Naturalist Note Series. If you missed it, check out our earlier videos for information on the American beaver and the history of logging in the Rich Lake area. Tune in next week to learn more about the natural history of the Adirondack region. See you then!